Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be going back to ODEs and I'm going to go as slowly as I can. I'm just doing first order ODE, so we're going to look at two examples. First one up is the one that you see on screen at the moment. Uh, dy dx is x cubed minus 2y over x. Okay, so we're going to try and solve that. And we're going to solve for x between 1 and 3. And the initial condition for y0 is 4.2. Okay, so just there's this wrote as a script, and so line 5, 6, and 7 I think is okay. I hope it is. CLC clears the screen, clear all, clears the workspace, and close all, closes any figure. But the time span. Uh, remember we said it was 1 to 3, so what this means is I'm going, my time or my x, whichever you want to look at it, it starts at 1, then 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, blah 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 blah, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, and there's my initial condition is 4.2. So we're using an anonymous function method for this, for the Runga Kutta. So if I slow down even more here, so we're going to get when we call the MATLAB function ODE45, the Runga Kutta method, fourth order. On the right hand side, there are three parameters. There's the handler to the function where we write the differential equation. Next lad up is the time span, which is 1 to 3 in steps of point 0.1. And next lad up is the initial condition. So there's three things. There's the differential equation, there's the time span and the initial condition. And this is the same for if we do five or ten of them, I don't know what it is, they're all the same. And the output parameters are t and y, so t is uh, 1 to 1.1, 1 .1, sorry, 1.1, 1.2, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, and y is the numerical approximation from the OD45. Uh, Let's look at the ODE1. There it is there. Very simple. I know I could have put in more comments, but just something simple like that. So the output, dy dx, let's go. there it is. Name of the function, ODE1, and the two input parameters there. And I've written on the right-hand side there, I've written the differential equation. So we go to here. On line 11, I plot it, and on line 12, I just um, put on a title and put on an X label and put on a Y label. So let's give that a go. And there it is, and you know, it's all right. Nothing break. What I mean by all right is it's a nice, simple one, nothing difficult. Now, I hope somebody online was unhappy that I was going too quickly and I hope that's okay. I generally hope that's all right. Next one up is a bit harder. So we want to do dy dx is xy and our time span is not 4 and steps of point 0.01 and our initial condition is y0 equals 1. And why this is a little harder is we're going to get the exact solution and we're going to compare the two answers. And there may be terms that you're not familiar with. So, so that's here. So, uh, line 6 is okay, line 7 is okay, line 8 is okay, and line 9, just to emphasize again, ODE45, calling the inbuilt MATLAB function three parameters. First lad up, um, the differential equation. Second lad up, the time span. Third lad up, uh, the initial condition, two outputs. Now, if I just say, excuse me now, if I just highlight those guys, <coughs> excuse me, so I'm going to plot my two outputs and I'm going to plot them in B for blue and minus x, so the little markers are x's. Put on a title, put on an x label, put on a y label. 
little criticism of myself there on line 16 perhaps I should have said something like this And the exact solution, you know, you can solve um, you know, from your calculus now. So it's the exponential of x squared over 2. Now, so let's, before we get to line 16, let's look at the, there it is, dy dx, name of the function, derivative, the output dy dx, and it's simply x by y. Uh, so we call, go back to line 9, you call the function there. Compare it to the exact solution. Now hold on. This confuses students a little bit. So we're keeping the the present figure. And what's the present figure? Well, we, when I run it, is the this is this plot here. So that's kept in focus. And now I plot x, which is uh, there. Well, not to three in steps of point oh one, and y one is the exact solution. So we got the exact solution for every single point. I'm going to plot that in red. I'm going to put on a legend like so. And 2 is in the northwest quadrant. And hold off is to release it. And then oh, we'll get to line 23, 24 and 25. Let's just run this for a second. So you, I don't know if you can see this on YouTube but there's sort of red and blue there. So the blue is the uh, ODE and the red is the exact. And they're, you know, visually they look exactly the same. Um, the legend lad, uh, this comma 2, sticks it up in the top left hand corner. And what I did then was I wanted to get the residual. So how much of So the residual is the observed minus the expected. The observed is there. On line 9 so that's what the numerical approximation is y1 is there that's the expected that's the theoretical answer so if there was 300 points I've got 300 residuals again a little difficult here with the dot power but I squared each individual residual and then I summed them and on line 25 I output it and that's in the command there this SS resid, the sum squared residual is 0 0.30779. Ideally, uh, the sum squared residual should be 0, but the nearest to 0, the closer the, um, the approximation is to the theoretical. This guy, the dot power, I uh, won't go into, into too much detail, but the dot power means take each element of the residual and square it. Okay, I hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.